Hey everybody, Bob Berger over here at Rust Air Toyota. I want to talk about a topic that has a lot of people confused when they come into the dealership, so we can get it straight today. That's four-wheel drive versus all-wheel drive. Obviously, they're both good for winter, but what is the real difference between the two? I got a four-wheel drive 4Runner right next to me, and I got an all-wheel drive Venza. So with an all-wheel drive vehicle, how that is going to work, your front wheels, when it loses traction, has a rapid change in speed. The vehicle is going to send power to the rear wheels via either, in this case, an electric motor or usually an electronic slip differential in modern cars or a viscous slip differential in older cars. All you need to know is that it'll help you not get stuck and help you get going. Front wheels lose traction, your rear wheels will kick in to help. A four-wheel drive vehicle is going to be a lot more intense. This is more common for off-roading or for heavier tasks such as like pulling a boat out of the water. So the big benefit with the four-wheel drive, more rugged. The downside though is for the vast majority of them, you are going to have to switch it into four-wheel drive. The reason for this being is that the front wheels will not be able to turn at a different rate. There's no differential there. So when you're turning your steering wheel, your inner wheel, let's say you're turning left, the left wheel is going to be turning slower than the right. If you ever turn on a 4x4 vehicle on dry pavement, you've probably felt this while you're trying to drive around a corner. It'll get locked up and it's not really good for it. It's terrible for your tires. So you have to make the conscious decision to say, hey, it's snowing or I'm going on gravel or whatever it might be. Now I'll turn it on. Oh, I'm back on dry pavement. I'm going to turn it off. That's why a lot of people like the all-wheel drive systems. It's a lot less thinking involved. You don't have to wait for it to shift or anything. It just simply works. There are versions of four-wheel four drive called full-time four-wheel drive. Toyota actually does have one vehicle with it too, which would be the 4Runner, but only in the limited models. This puts a differential in the front of the car so the wheels can turn at different rates. And it's four-wheel drive all time. All four wheels are getting power to them. The main downside of that, and the reason why it's not very popular, terrible on gas mileage. You're having to move four or twice as many wheels all the time. If you have any more questions on what might suit you the best, give us a call 262-334-9411 and you can ask for sales.